Unraveling, to come back to me, a guide to understanding. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating phrase that often pops up in English conversations, to come back to me. This expression can be a bit tricky for English language learners, so we're here to break it down for you. Stick around to discover its meanings and how to use it correctly in various contexts. First up, let's tackle the literal interpretation of, to come back to me. At its most basic level, this phrase means someone or something physically returning to the speaker's location. Imagine you lend a book to a friend, and you tell them, I need it to come back to me by next week. Here, you're literally asking for the book to be returned to you. More interestingly, to come back to me is often used in a figurative sense. In this context, it means remembering something that you had forgotten. For example, if someone asks you for details about an event that happened a long time ago, you might say, give me a moment. It's starting to come back to me now. This indicates that the memories are gradually returning to your mind. Understanding how to use, to come back to me, in everyday conversations is crucial. It's commonly used in both professional and casual settings. When used to express recollection, it's a way to convey that you are trying to remember something and that the information is slowly becoming clear. On the other hand, in a literal sense, it straightforwardly requests the return of something. Knowing the context will help you understand which meaning is being conveyed. Let's look at some examples to see how, to come back to me, is used in sentences. 1. Literal use, I lent my camera to Jake, and I need it to come back to me before my trip. 2. Figurative use, the details of that day were blurry, but after seeing the photos, it all started to come back to me. These examples show the versatility of the phrase and how its meaning changes based on the context. There you have it. We hope this video has helped clarify the phrase, to come back to me, and its uses in English. Remember, whether you're talking about physical objects or the trickier terrain of memory, context is key to understanding its meaning. Thanks for watching, and we hope this lesson helps you feel more confident in your English conversations. See you in the next video.